Hi guys and welcome to Feywood. So I told you I would show you how I made Dan into a white walker and here it is. Now I started off with this clown white makeup. It's a cake makeup. It's much more comfortable so I do recommend getting this rather than using paint. Um, I really like this as a base. I'd love to get some more colors if I did some more of these sort of face painting videos. And so I've just used one of my um, pads that I use for makeup to apply this to Dan's face. It's just a little latex thing like a sponge. Um, once I did that, I did set it a little bit just so it wasn't as tacky. I probably could have put a bit more powder on him to set that a bit further. Uh, I just wanted to remove some of the tackiness for blendability. I then used Yacht Life, which was from my Coloured Rain Vivid Pigments palette. Um, you might have seen from that little screenshot that I made a bit of a mess of that pan. Unfortunately, it's pretty impossible to not pick up some of the white cake base with your brush as you're adding the um, colour. But what I wanted to do was darken and shade his face before I started going in with any detail because it's much more impossible to shade these larger under base areas um, afterwards. So, you know, think about where the, all the hollows are, where all the um, dark darker sections of the face might be for a white walker. Um, I used a reference picture that I got online to help me uh, work out how I was going to map out the design. So definitely do that and have it nearby. But basically I really wanted him to have that slight gaunt look because the white walkers, they look obviously frozen and it's as if that um, frozen skin has sunken in and accentuated any uh, wrinkles or uh, shapes in the face. So I've really gone in with um, a lot of the wrinkles on the nose. The Night King has these really defined wrinkles kind of making his nose look very scrunched up and then um, lines the 11s lines between the eyes and above the eyes as well um, very very defined of course he had uh, a lot of three-dimensional sections as well but I'm doing this completely with uh, color just to show that you can um, you could definitely look at making some latex um, points because he has those I guess they're just sort of spikes coming out of his head. Um, you could use maybe polymer clay or latex perhaps if you've got a mold that you want to use. But I've done this all with paint and I've used um, just an eye chubby pencil from Australis. Any sort of eyeliner pencil is perfect for doing these really uh, intricate lines. Now I've done a really blue base. Some of the pictures I've seen of the White Walkers, they show them as quite blue and white and others have been a bit more grey and white. So it's up to you. I think both work. So the trick really is the shading and that's the tricky part of this. Um, it It's a fine balance between it looking very liney and um, almost tiger-like and it looking shaded and I honestly could have spent more time on it but I didn't want Dan to be there forever so I used my black from my Naked Basics palette any black eyeshadow would work perfectly you could use a eyeliner again for the black but um, I prefer an eyeshadow at this point because it's going to set it down a little bit and not move as much if you're putting powder on there and if you have a look at the White Walkers their eyes are very sunken very dark so I really wanted that to be 
the darkest part of the makeup. I then used the black eyeliner that I had. So I've used both a blue, um, it's more of an eyeshadow pencil from Australis and then a black eyeliner pencil, but both from Australis just because that's what I've got on hand. And just using it to darken up some of the portions of the face, but trying to think about where the darker parts would be. And this will help when you look at your reference picture to see uh, which areas of the face would be more in shadow and which would be less. So obviously around the eyes are quite dark, so I wanted some of those wrinkles to be darkened that were coming out from the eyes. Um, also in the sort of marionette lines from the nose, I wanted some of that to be darker as well. Now the nice thing is with using um, cake white and then cream sort of products as in the eyeliners and powders and things, it all blends together. So this sort of line work that you do can then be blended out with brushes afterwards. So you place your lines down, but then you can soften those lines. And I've so you can see I'm coming in with a brush here and I'm just trying to blend some of the areas out and some of them I want left more crisp. So, you know, you're wanting that um, combination of detail where it needs to be clearly defined wrinkle areas and then blending, um, softening some of the lines. It's really all adding to that three dimensional type of feel. So the crevices that would be deeper in the skin need to be darker. And using a reference picture will give you an idea of where they will be. I think the beauty of the White Walker sort of makeup is that you don't necessarily need to have it look exactly like uh, any of the pictures. It's really just thinking, you could maybe think where would the natural um, wrinkles be if they were more defined and really accentuate those um, heavily and add much more than there would ever naturally be. Um, and then having that either really um, pale white or slight blue or even very blue like I've done here um, adds to that icy look. Now I could have easily sat here for another two hours and continued to blend him out and add more detail, but I didn't want him to be here all day. <laughs> um, I also took the paint down the neck a little ways, but I didn't really go all the way back to the back of the neck because we were just doing this for the video. But if you were going out, potentially you'd like to take the makeup down further. Um, you definitely can. Just bear in mind this cake makeup does get on things, so you need to be a little careful. Now once you've done blending, you can go in with some face paint. Don't do this until you are ready to not be able to blend anymore because the paint won't blend um, like the cake makeup does. You can of course um, blend paint with a bit of water and you know that that sort of thing but it won't blend into the um, makeup underneath is what I'm saying. So what I wanted to do at this point though was really crisp up some of those lines because I'd lost some of the definition with some of the blending that I did um, and I wanted certain areas to be even darker or lighter and you know after a certain point it's sometimes quite hard to lighten things up in particular with the cake makeup because it is blending into everything else so you lose that real vibrancy so that's where the the paint does come in handy and it's not as uncomfortable 
because you're only using um, it on little details instead of the whole face. So I try to really think what points of the face would be darker and which would be lighter. So what are the natural high points of the face that might be lighter in color? Uh, but I did also want to darken the mouth up a lot because uh, I liked the look of that on a lot of the White Walker designs I'd seen. And then I'm adding some white to really accentuate the higher points and detailed points. And then I just wanted a little bit of darkness under the nose there. The uh, Night King does have that definition underneath the nose and a, an unusual shaped nose. And then finishing it off with a little bit of blue hairspray. I did want to get a white, but I couldn't actually find one uh, for this video. So I went with blue and uh, Dan wasn't too happy with me, but I added a little bit of the white cake makeup in his hair as well, which I think looked really cool because it looked like um, ice had started to develop in his hair. Now you do have to be careful because this um, spray paint can often drip down the face, so just be careful of that. And that's the finished product. So look, a simple um, sort of White Walker makeup. You can go all out with the prosthetics and everything as well, or even more shading than I've done, but it's just to show you, you can do this with paint. And I think the product end product is pretty good. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Hit subscribe if you want to come back to Feywood and I'll see the rest of you next time. Bye guys.